Howdy, partners. This is Trinity from Monogram International, Inc. Here with a new figural keyring blind bag release. This one is very near and dear to my heart. It's the Digimon Adventure Digital Monsters Collection. This is just, mm, this really takes me to my childhood. These are like the original Digimon. I know they still, they did like, um, spin-off series, but this is like, this is the like late 90s creme de la creme Saturday morning Fox Box, Fox Box content that just gave us life growing up. Who's with me, 90s kids? Anyway, so in this video, I'm going to give a close look at all of the Digimon and there's even a Digivice in this collection. And we're just gonna have a good old time so I'm just gonna grab a blind bag here and see what we have inside. I did not plan this. <laughs> just kidding, I totally did. So starting off, we have Agumon, the life partner of Tai, the main character. This Agumon, his face is looking a little flat. I wish his um snout could have come out a little more, but other than that, it seems pretty on model. The eyes, the teeth, the body, it's just the snout is where I have the concern. And his um his forehead is um I think it's sticking out a little too much. But other than that, it's pretty cute and anyone could identify it. I can't help but do the the digivolve the spin with the keychain. Agumon. <laughs> did anyone uh, memorize the Digimon rap? I did not. Did you know? Did you hear? <laughs> okay, next we have Patamon. Or Patamon. Patamon. Sorry if I said that weird. So this is, this one's good. I really like this. The wings, I can tell the wings are a little on the delicate side, but it has great detail in it. I love the form of this. It's very like stable. See, he can just perch there. The colors, the colors are pretty on model. The lamp that I have on is a little on the tungsten side, so everything's getting a little extra warm glow on it but this is pretty accurate the eyes are so cute it's like you'd never guess he could become Angemon and save save the digiverse <laughs> anyway so there's Patamon next we have oh so I jumped the gun so this is actually the second exclusive. So in each um, PDQ box that are like, you know, fresh from the back storage of a store where it just comes in the 24, there's only one Alekmon. Okay. He's looking great. This is him more in like a being silly, walking on hind legs kind of moment. I love the teeth and the curve of the mouth. The little hair. That's cool. Okay. It's good. You can see here's you can see the tail. And that looks pretty darn good. I got to admit. It looks really good. I mean, I should be pitching this and I'm like, "Eh, I'm just being picky." But you know, cuz honesty is key. Yeah, I like the claws. So here's Alekmon. So we're all uh, oranges, orange and yellow so far. We need some more color variety. Ugh, this one's kind of heavy. Oh, here is Gabumon. So this is Matt's Digimon. Well, I like how in Digimon, it's not really like an owner. It doesn't feel like an ownership thing. 
as opposed to Pokemon, not bagging on Pokemon, but it's like it's a different culture, it's a different vibe, where with the Digimon and the Digidestined, it's more of a partnership, you know, as opposed to training, you know, Pokemon trainer. That I think that's why I kind of leaned more towards um, Digimon, because it just feels a little bit more, how do you say, um, equality driven, or like, uh, what do you call it? It just, it's just more heartwarming to me, and the characters are cool. <laughs> anyway, so enough of that rant. Here's Gabumon. The details are looking good. The colors are pretty on model. Um, this looks a little bit more gray under this camera, but it actually has, um, like, it's like powder, it's actually powder blue. It's just kind of reading as gray under the lighting that I have, which I should probably fix and neutralize. Anyway, so here's Gabumon. It's a back view with a tail. The unicorn horn is there. It's definitely there, and it has, like, lots of nice, like, grooves, details in it. I love the eyes. So pretty and sparkly. Yeah, so there's Gabumon. Matt's life partner. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, okay. So this is... This is the other exclusive. So the Demi Dev, De, De, sorry, Demi Devimon. There's one Demi Devimon in each of the the PDQ box back there. Um, so these are harder to find, and I think this is a good choice because look at those awesome details in it. The you know the stitch on the mask, the cleaved talons. You can even see like the little um I don't want to say veins, <laughs> but you can see on the the bat wings or the devi wings that there's like the little um protrusions of like veins. It's very very goth. <laughs> and um so here's the back view of that. You can see the it's like diamond shapes in the back of the the claws, the talons. But yeah, there you have it. Demi Devimon. The other exclusive. I'm just gonna put him there. Let me put him in. Put his wing behind. Come on. Oh, he's kind of leaning. He's not very stable. Okay, that looks okay. But it's a little blurry, but I'll put it in focus at the end. I'll just have to have the um the focus range of focus in the front so we can see all the details here's another Agumon I always um is there like um a meaning behind the root words of the Digimon names like, Agu is that related to like Dinosaurs, Pado, is that related to whatever that is? Hamsters? <laughs> I don't know what these are based on, but anyway. So, here is Bioman, which is um, Sora's, Sora's partner. She's cute. She looks very like, um, what's going on? I love that you can see, because you know how she has that little, um, Thing on her forehead they uh, captured that in a pretty clever way where it like sticks out a little bit but it's not like what do you call it it's not hanging off too much but you can still tell what it is from facing forward it's a really pretty pink color it's very on model I'd say this is pretty good quality collection portraying the characters of Digimon Adventure yeah, pretty darn cute. I'm loving this. I want them all. I'm just waiting for Gatomon. <laughs> okay, I can already feel what this is. It's the Digify. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, got it out. 
All right, this one is, it's a hefty little digivice. It just looks like a dead digivice. You just like, turn on, turn on, but it won't. Cause it's just, it's just a little toy. It's just a little model. It's not the actual thing. I remember, I don't think I bought this one, but I made sure I had the one that car, you know, in the, I think it's the, the later season when they're like a little older and Kari is like more of a prominent character and her digivice is that pink one. I made sure I had that one. I was obsessed with Kari then and I wanted to be her. Um, but this is really cool. You can see um, all the little runes and symbols around. You see that there? It's like very on model and it just, it's really good. This is just, oh, this this would just look so cool on any 90s kids backpack. <laughs> so tight. I love it. Okay. Okay, got another one at the Gabumon. Which is not, not a problem. <laughs> Okay, next we have Gomamon. Gomamon, which is jo Joe's, the the nerd guy. And like, Gomamon is very like free spirited. So that was a really great like duo, I'd say. Oh, I love it. You can see the, um, the texture up here. You see that? It's like little bumps to capture the, um, the texture of his like hair thing. Um, yeah, so Gomamon is just like a cool, fun-loving uh, seal, sea otter. Okay, you can see more of the like hair texture on the back. I love it. It's like very stable. It's just like ready to rock. The colors look very, it's it's like a pure white, but it's the reading a little bit um, yellow under the sliding. Oh, next we have Palmon. This is Mimi's Digimon. I just love the colors, the pink. There's like a slight difference between, I you can see it on camera, the shade of pink on the flowers and on the claws is slightly different. This is more of a, I'd say more of a magenta. This is more of a, also magenta. But this is a little bit, it's like a tint. But I really like it. I love the subtlety of it. I think this is really well made. Yes. I love it. You can see the little plant insides in the arm. And her little tail, so cute. I never really thought much about Palmon, but I feel like the design of it, I mean, as a character, but the design of it is really cool and cute, I think. Okay, where is Gatomon? Because we have nine already, so we need two more. We need Tentomon and Gatomon, so I'm just... I think this is Tentamon, yeah. So, ooh, this looks really cool. Yeah, this is really detailed and cool. The antennas, yes. Look at all that. Oh, wow. That's really neat. Yeah, this is really good. This is a good one. It's really good. Tentamon, this is... Izzy's Digimon. <laughs> and he talks like this, right? Like a robot or something. I think. At least in the English dub, which is what I'm familiar with. Okay, and then last, I'm just gonna dig. These are... Where is she? <gasps> Here she is! Okay. We have... The final event, Gatomon, yes! Queen, the queen. Gatomon, who you've all been waiting for. Oh, this one's nice. It has a good, like, petite size to it. It's not too, 
clunky, having issues with the, the ear getting cut on the ring. Yes, Gatomon Slay! I love her. She's like the most interesting. She actually has like, you know, not saying that the other ones don't have depth, but she's kind of, <laughs> I was going to say she's kind of like the equivalent of like Meowth, the way that like she's a little bit more human than the other monsters. Oh yeah, she's really cool. And because she's partners with Kari, she's partners with me because I'm Kari. <laughs> Oh, I love this. It's really cute. Love the the gloves. This would be a great cosplay. I'm sure there's great Gatomon cosplays out there. Showing the back again, I'm like not over it. I love the tail. The tail goes all the way to the top of her head. Adorable. Wait, so like, Digimon, they're, they don't have gender. I don't know if they have gender, but, you know, they're kind of, um... What do you call it? Coded. Coded a certain gender with the vo choice of voice actor. But anyway, I'm just trying to get this in focus. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Digimon, digital monsters. So cute. I love these. This is a great collection. Oh my gosh. I'm not over it. I'm really not. These are really good. This is a great set. Not to toot my company's horn, but toot toot. Yes. Anyway, so I'll put in the description where these are going to be available at. These are an upcoming item, so I'll just check which retailers have ordered them and I'll fill that in there with some information. Thanks so much for watching. This is actually just a heads up, like going into 2019, we're changing our rings. We're, we're not technically gonna be selling rings. So our last series that are gonna have key rings, the metal rings is this and Sailor Moon series three, which I will be posting next week. Moving forward, it's gonna be, after that, it's gonna be plastic like plastic like bag clips yeah that's just how the cookie crumbles but it's still gonna be the same great quality 3d foam figurines so we're good anyway thanks so much for watching have a great day bye